Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. And we're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. And we're on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. Okay, so I am back in the studio and I wanted to just play. I don't even know what I'm going to make. I, I know that I want to try to make some things with pages and and different things and I may have to grab a book if this doesn't if this pack doesn't have what I want in it but um and then I also got out some of my labels and stamps and things like that to play with uh as well as the junk journal studios um vintage label volume two um labels from days gone by so I grabbed those Okay, um, oh, and this is another thing that I wanted to play with. Um, when I first got into junk journaling, oh my gosh, I, I don't even know how many years ago, I had gone on to, I don't know, probably AliExpress or something. And as you know, I no longer go to AliExpress because I don't, they put something on there of Kathy's and it made me, it made me cranky because it, you know, it wasn't from, it wasn't an authorized one. So, you know, but anyways, I have all of this stuff. I have even more, ugh, you know, and so when I first started, I just went nuts and started ordering so much stuff and I love it, but I haven't even done anything with it. So I thought, well, let's get it out. Maybe we'll do something with that too. Um, another thing is I'm super excited. You know, I told you I got this vintage Montgomery Ward's. Uh, mechanical desk or whatever I think is what it's called is a mechanical desk but it's really just a an office desk but it has these two pull outs on the side above the drawers I think they're like for stenography or or something like you know maybe a small typewriter or something and so um, it's really cool because right now I have stuff on it to play with so I have bits of lace and I have um some labels and things so it gave me a lot more room okay so let's get started um I think these I think I could make maybe um maybe a journal journal card or something out of these I kind of wanted to just fold up some stuff but I don't even know let's just go let's just go um one thing that I do need to get is my little uh, paper trimmer. Uh, and I did notice on one of the other videos that when I open and close these drawers, it's kind of noisy. Ouch. Smash my finger. So, uh, sorry about that. I'll try to be as conscientious about that as possible. Yeah, I had my thumb on that slide out. And then I pulled the drawer out and I smashed my thumb. All's good. All's good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I think this is that kind of paper that, you know, breaks. So um, let's, why don't we collage it with some of these little pieces of stuff? When I say collage, maybe just kind of cover it so that we have... We have some different things on it. I really don't want to think too, too awfully hard about it. Some of these aren't even my style. Like, I might use some of these, but I would not use these. I'm going to set those aside. i use that. These are a little bit Victorian for me. I'm not sure. Maybe they were a gift or something. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. But let's go ahead and, you know, just kind of tear these into a few pieces. It tears really nice. Maybe one, maybe we'll get one more. I don't know if I want it from this pack. Something a little bit more neutral. I think I'll put this back. I 
trying to see what the name of it is, but it's really just says large size material paper. Let's see if this pack has same thing here, large size material paper. I won't use this. I'm not crazy about the style, so I'll put that over there too. <clears throat> this style I'm going to a retreat in April so I guess I could start saving some things let's use one of these for that to give away at that retreat you know always have like a donation table so that uh, you can donate you you donate supplies or what have you and then um, And then someone can donate to purchase, donate money to purchase your supply. And then that money goes towards uh, the next year's cost. I, I am just going to do this a little bit. I'm, I took an, a really dry vintage photo to see if I really feel like it made a difference and I sprayed I sprayed this on it this ink refresher from Ranger to see if it would make a difference not only sprayed like one or two sprays but I feel like it, I, I kind of thought maybe I can save it <laughs> But I don't know. It seems like I'm fighting it a lot. So I might try that again. But let's try this one. Let's see if it's any better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Could re-ink it. But you know what? Sometimes I wonder if that... If the pad just gets too dry to even... Take in some... You know, even when you re-ink it. Because I've re-inked... Re I have re-inked that thing a couple of times. Well, more than a couple of times. So it might just be time to switch over to another pad. Some of this probably won't need to be done like, you know, uh, distressed like this. Because it'll be covered up as I start to glue it down. But I just thought, well, I kind of like the, dis you know, kind of gives a distinct look and kind of helps with that where one meets you know the other I have been very busy today <laughs> um, this week actually so as you know we had a very very late Christmas January 13th and um, and then you know everything with you know Kathy was here and then taking care of you know business and stuff for my mom and so I was determined to have all of the Christmas down by February 1st <laughs> and I did get my Christmas down I did get my Christmas down but Joey has a huge gorgeous tree it looks real. It's one of those that just looks like you went and cut it. And then he he does a little bit of flocking on it each year. So it looks like it was a, it freshly snowed. And it, it's absolutely beautiful. Well, anyways, um, he has had a few things after work to do this week. So he hasn't been able to work on his tree too much. So I worked on that yesterday and today and got it done. Um. So, yeah, I've been busy and, you know, you wrap everything individual. We wrap everything individually and, and then Joey takes it up to the attic, which oof, that is a chore in itself, man. Uh, this little scrap of glue paper I have. <laughs> and uh, so, 
So he did that. I guess I'll start with this one. He took a bunch of stuff up. And then his buddy's coming this weekend to hang out. Actually, he's coming to do some things that are a two-man job for Joey, to help Joey. And that's so cool. Super cool. I think I'll put that down, but I think I'll put something behind it first. Maybe that. Um, and so, you know, we don't really have any plans. And, um, I think it was about like that. Yeah. They'll meet at one of the local pubs and catch up on things and then, uh, head, head over. I think that's fine. Kind of a little samey right there, but I think it's okay. Yeah, so, um, boy, doesn't it look so different when you take all of your Christmas things down? It looks so bare, like you're moving. You're moving out. Uh, but I have decided this year, I don't always do this. I'm ashamed to say it, but I've decided this year that I'm going to do some before I start redecorating and getting spring decorated. I'm not deck. I think I mentioned yesterday or the day before that I'm, I've decided I'm not going to decorate for, uh, Valentine's this year. Um, uh, I just, I just have too much right now in my head to think about it, but, um, I, uh, I think I'm going to take some of that off. I thought to myself that I might go ahead and do some deep cleaning before I put all the spring out. I did bring it all down from the attic though, and it was, it's fun because I, I don't usually do just a spring. I usually do Valentine's and then I get out, uh, I get out my Easter. So I'm kind of excited to just do some spring and, and then spring will go into Easter, but I have some things that, you know, I kind of sometimes don't put out which is like, um, oh, I have some sweet vintage garden things that'll be fun for, to put out for spring. Hmm. I might need to integrate a couple of other things because doesn't it look like it's getting, like I'm, I'm getting ready to run into the same old stuff. I don't know about that little cut out right there, but anyways, I just wanted to get in the, in the studio and play. I, I, I really have, I, I have projects that I, you know, was working on before my mom passed and I, <laughs> I just, I haven't gotten back to them. So, uh, hmm. maybe right there. Yeah, I haven't gotten back to them, and, um, oh my gosh, that was my show-and-tell page. Ah, that stinks. So, but I wanted to craft, because it's so soothing, and some sometimes when I'm crafting, I, you know, get some good ideas. <laughs> about other things it doesn't even you know sometimes not even about crafting but i thought this would be nice and 
therapeutic. Okay, so I have that down. I think I want to put something behind it. I'm going to put some right here. That's pretty. I don't know where I pulled that out of. A red fragrant rose grew in the garden, so I saved it. Maybe some of this. So I'm thinking about buying a jelly plate. I have thought about it so many times and I just never have. I keep thinking, do I really want to, you know, invest in one more <laughs> craft thing? But I keep seeing things that look so fun to do. And um, I don't like how straight I did that. And so I don't know, thinking about it. I think that'll be good. Tell me if you work with jelly plates or not. You know, and um, what size you like to work with if you do. I was thinking about getting the 8 eight by 10 although, you know, that means that you have to kind of really line up your... You'd have to really line up your paper. But... Um, See if I can get that without losing too much of that butterfly. You'd have to really line up your paper, but I noticed that it's quite a bit different than the 12 by 12. I've seen such really neat, some really, really neat uh, videos. I want to try using you know a magazine print i think that would be kind of fun i'm gonna see if i can get that just a little darker just so it shows up a little bit better now what am i going to do with this when i get it done i don't know i don't know because it's going to be you know, too big for a journal. So I have to see if it'll let me bend it now that it's, you know, now that it's a little bit better. Now this can go down. Can't believe I glued over my show and tell page. another one out I think what I'll do is maybe I'll get one of my like pink ones or something and then that way I'll know not to use it <laughs> as a glue page there okay okay Let's trim this off a little bit. I like the raggedy edges of the paper. But I don't want the, the gluey ick to get on things. Let's see. Oops. 
funk do with my head? It's a pretty page. I'm trying to think of what to do with it. Well, let me bend it. Fold it here. Still just a little damp from the glue. Try to be careful. Could uh, you know just use it as a tuck or something, put it in a belly band. It feels it feels good on the seam. It's a cute little bumblebee. Maybe what we'll do is put um, some writing space. I need one more thing on my desk here. But these are all my little scraps to you know just you could stamp on but i'm gonna make little places to write so you can write on this journal page so i can get some I'm looking for some longer, longer ones to go all the way across. Feels like two. Oh, here's some of those that I made, did with the, uh, when we rusted things. Remember that? Can I get one more on there? Hmm. I don't know why I can't find a lot. Oh, here's one. Well, nope. It's not going to work. I would like for it to go all the way across. That's my goal here. I'm looking for. Here's one. Let's just tear it down. going to do is try to line it up on the right side because that is the side that's jaggedy and then that'll give me a straight edge to clean it up a little bit you know what I mean glue so it's been really really nice here and so we can use a little bit of that to write on too. It's been really nice here to get um yesterday I kind of took a walk out back and checked out some of you know some of the things that are around the house. Um we uh Joey had planted some apple trees a couple years ago and those deer man do they love the apples. I think I like this better. And we haven't had apples. It's not that we have apples, but they will absolutely take every bud and even chew on the baby bark. So we've got to figure something out. Um, we ha Ever since we've had it, we've had a, um, you know, a tall chicken wire around it. But they get up on their hind legs and get that. So I was over kind of looking to see... Uh, you know, how is it? 
is it I'm gonna just tear it out it'll be a little easier for the since it's on the torn edge so I was looking to see is it gonna I don't know is it gonna make it you know but to be quite honest I'm not sure it's gonna make it I did break off a small section to see if it was green or if it was you know um, completely hardened and dry and it was dry so I don't know I could have just gotten a dead branch I thought oh, I don't want to break any more off it was just a little twiggy piece but still I didn't want to do too much more it's nice to have the the things here so you can use it to guide you That's a fun way to use these up. It's a fun way to use them up when you're even doing your stamping them. They're just fun to use, I think. <laughs> Might need one more. Kind of gotten them close together. I'm a little quiet today. I'm, I've been on a one track with that Christmas stuff, so I don't really have a lot of exciting things going on right now. Uh, I am hoping to see my grandchildren this weekend. I haven't seen them in, in a while. We've been busy. They've been busy. And, uh, boy, I sure miss them. I mean... I just miss them so much when we don't see them and you know how quick time goes so hoping we get to see them this weekend if we can all finagle it you know what I mean Yeah, so this is probably going to be it. It's just making this fun little thing. And I don't know if I'll sew around it or, or not. I kind of might not, but I might. <laughs> okay, let's just do one more if I, if I have one long enough. That would be pretty. Not long enough have the other one of this but it's a little bit thick but I'll, I'll put it there just in case oh yeah that's nice it's a little bit thick so I think I'm going to tear it down too I'm kind of getting hungry I think they're going to make me a salad today There's so many things I want to do. I'm uh, got my beeswax, and I want to. Really sad that I wasted this paper, and I want to, uh, you know, do some more beeswax on paper. I did that 
opposite, but that's all right. I think it's going to look pretty. Okay, we did it. Let's get this out of the way. I keep the little book weight that Kathy made me. I got a little glue on it. Uh-oh. Where's my... I keep my little book weight in here so that as I move around, these things aren't flying out. And then I just keep it right, right behind me here. Have a little shelfy deal back there. All right. Well, I am glad I, I've used up a couple of things, you know, several things that I wanted to. I wanted to use some of that paper, that AliExpress paper that I never use. And I wanted to use some of the paper in that envelope, this paper here. So I was able to do that. And then bonus was able to use some of this, these little cutoffs here. If that doesn't lay down good, I'll probably, let me just do that. Let me just get this. Get my, what is happening? You can tell I haven't been in here in a while. Okay. Get some of this and get that down. Good. Okay, so then there is, that's a, a little journal card. Lots of journaling space here. Lots of journaling space. I may make um, a couple of more and then I'll post those on uh, Instagram and Facebook. And just a reminder, Instagram is joey143jenny and then facebook is joey in jenny's little yellow house and the and is an ampersand it's not spelled out someone had said they had a hard time finding and that's that might be why looks like i need a new sponge maybe that's my problem brother Like that too. I um, noticed that. Have you guys? Do you guys follow Joey Cardmaker on Instagram? He's been doing the uh, Marguerite Miller challenge. Oh my gosh, he's so good at collaging. If you haven't followed him, you should. It's really inspirational. I don't know what made me think of that. But he's so good at collaging. I, it is not, it's, I keep thinking I'm going to do the Marguerite Miller, but, um, you know, because I, I would like to practice collaging. I'm not the greatest at collaging. Uh, but I enjoy it. Okay. I think we're about done. I think this will be cute in a, in a journal. Garden journal or something. Or even, maybe I'll even use it and write a letter. I don't know. So I get that one. Oh, there's a little bit right there. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for hanging with me and 
dabbling in the craft room with me. I wish you were here, actually. I wish you were sitting right across from me and we were going through all this stuff and using it up and just having a great time together. Uh, but the next best thing is just chatting with you and seeing all your pretty sweet comments. And um, just thank you for all your support and for subscribing and being friends so we just want you to know that we pray blessings over you and we want you to know you're so loved and we'll see you in the next video everyone thank you bye bye